I pre-draw the pre-find the vanishing points. Color pencil, it's easy to see. Okay. So connect it from here. Okay, the edge. I extend. Extend that. Okay. Find a two line. Okay. Okay, find it. Intersect one point. Another side. Find it from here. Okay, extend. Find it here. Another line. Okay, okay, perfect. I get a vanishing point, vanishing point. Two vanishing points. Okay. So we call this VP. VP, vanishing points. Okay. And another VP, vanishing points. From theory, connect two vanishing points. So connect two vanishing points. So which is perpendicular from from vertical line, perpendicular. Okay. So perpendicular from vertical line. So I can connect these two line. Connect. Okay, so now this line, which is a we call horizon line. Horizon. Horizon line. Okay, you can lower coffee table. Okay. So I provide you this coffee table. This is two foot. I want a one foot a six. With the lower coffee table. Freehand. This step is freehand. Okay. I just lower coffee table. I got this box. Lower coffee table. Okay. And also, chair, couch. Consider what type of style you want it. Okay. So this time I try to make this one more, uh, more traditional looking. Okay, more traditional. Okay, coffee table. Take a look, I have this one roughly. A lower coffee table. And before I working, I working for coffee table. The leg, the free hand, we got a proportion. Okay. Real classic coffee table. Now, I use one piece of paper. Or white paper underneath, we take a look at. <coughs> Just a free hand. We already got a coffee table. Take a look at first. I got this. Freehand joy. Because we already have a proportion. Okay, just put it on the top. Okay, and also I said this is a freehand sketch. Okay, later we are gonna ink it. First step just use a pencil to make it. Okay, you get a chair. I wanna make a, a couch. I make a chair, okay. Okay, I make a I make a chair, I make a, I said I want a classic. Arm, I extend that. I extend the arm. Okay. Yeah, we already got a shape. Okay, typical the chair. I make the I make the pebble. And also with leg. Okay, I get a one leg. I have a proportion, the free hand, and also another one, another one, okay. Another chair, this is very standard, very standard shape, okay. Your leg, I, I don't want to set it for three, just set it for two. Okay, free hand joint. I extend a little bit. Okay, free hand. And also, typically, I make a two pebble. Okay, freehand. Because we already have a you want proportion. to extend just to push back a little bit more, maybe space, okay. Just a freehand, it's not final, make sure, okay. Okay. Okay, freehand and also behind. 
chair above that. Above that. Normally, the picture. Okay, normally picture. Okay, above that center. Normally picture. Okay, normally picture. Anyway, this is. Uh, I said this is uh, uh, with a frame. I said you know, with a frame with a manifold. Make more interesting. And also, okay, side table. Think of proportion. Proportion. Okay, just roughly make a plan. Make a floor, floor, floor. Floor plan first, and then bring up. Keep Sam style. Free hand. Take a look at. Free hand. Then above that, maybe we got a lamp. And then lamp with the accessory. Take a look at. Okay, I get a uh, side table. Side table. Everything is freehand. And also, accessory or lamp. What does it look like? Still find a reference picture. I'm not. A, I'm not a judge your reference picture, but a reference picture can help you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for here, roughly, you still can make some accessory. Okay. The book. I can make book on the top. Over a box. Flower. Man, just make it more interesting. Okay, you get a chromoting. Chromoting is just double line. Okay, I don't want to make too many details. Back here, I got a windows. A windows. So I say this is a traditional. I get a window. Window curtain. Add a window curtain. Take a look at window curtain behind that. Okay, corner. And also behind that here could be another table. Okay, I can make another lamp. I don't. I cannot see too many details. Just a lamp. I can see lamp. Maybe here. Maybe whatever you have picture or not. Okay. Uh, floor. You can floor. I can add a. Error rock, okay. Error rock, okay. Error rock, okay. And also hardwood floor. Hardwood floor typical. Make sure I can connect it to validation points. The floor, not too many details. Okay. Next is line space. Okay. Before your ink it, you can consider roughly give ideas. You just stop. You can stop. Stop like that. I make an area. I want to stop like that. Finally, this join is like this. Foreground, typical the uh, accessory. That's foreground. Okay, above the uh, table. Okay, so accessory. Okay, this one. Box. Okay, so top accessory, the book or another accessory. Okay, and the flower. Okay, accessory, and also table. What does it look like, this table? Reference picture. Okay, reference picture. Okay. Back to floor plan. Okay, now later, I will add the, the add more detail, more detail. Foreground, okay. 
the, the another Accessory the picture. Make it draw more interesting. The lamp. Some more detail. And also a couch. The couch. Except for two, there's a pillow. And then on the other side, another pillow, another chair. Leg. As more detail as you can get. Take a head up behind accessory uh, picture. A bit detail. So promoting bubble line, window curtain, window treatment. This is not curtain. Oh yeah, curtain. Window treatment. And also here's a picture. A lamp, another lamp behind that. Here a rock, and also go ahead and add a hardwood floor. I'm not saying hardwood is the best choice. This hardwood floor is a nobody hate it. <laughs> it, it. Not bad, right? Yeah. Okay, hardwood floor. Follow is the perspective line. Towards the vanishing point. Zero eight. Typical run object. I'm going to add a punchline. If you're missing this stage, no problem. You can add later, even after colored. Okay. Punch line typical, we call spatial line. Spatial line, yep, outline for object, yeah. Okay. So shade include the reflection. Reflection perpendicular from surface. Every rock without the reflection. Absolutely without. Okay. But the only thing is the wood. Vertical stroke. Maybe reflection. Okay. Make sure the uh, the rock without reflection. And also underneath this object, you can add a little bit shading. Shadow area up a little bit. 
is the shuttle. Okay. Okay, so this one, object pillow, I had a little bit shading. Even the, the side of a couch, I had a little bit of shading. Okay, next step, I put, okay, so I'll play here. I'm not up the entire, just up the here. Later, I will apply highlight. I cover all of that. Okay, not too many detail. Okay, so in here, a little bit of color. Okay, and a hardwood floor. Oh, by the way, you can piece one. Two. Okay, chair. And here, not not too many details. And also, I use the number number five. Warm warm gray. Which here, I give you warm neutral color. Okay. Yeah, shadow, a little bit of shadow. And also, I use a black color, black marker, to give it accent color. Accent shadow, I give it a black color. Simple for that shadow. Shadow. Yeah, classification, which is what we just discussed. Hello. Accent color, this is indicator. I apply black color first. And also, I can go back to use gray. You still can use a gray. It will smear. Take a look at like that. What I said, I use gray on the top to not blend it too much, just a little bit, maybe. Okay. Color. If you want to add more color, I'm going to use green color for for the plant. Not too many detail. Okay. Green plant, and also. Uh, uh, mocha, it's mocha. Green color. Not too many detail. So use bag umber. And also picture. Just detail, not too many detail. You don't have a too many detail for a picture. Okay, yeah. Okay. Here's the dark yellow. A picture frame. Here you will see that we have okay. the floor. And also, hello, on oh, the couch. I'm going to use dark gray number eight. We still can see behind number eight. The side, maybe dark. So, apply reflection. Okay. 
Edge. I use white color pencil in this edge. Okay. A little bit flow, a little reflection. A little reflection. A little bit detail for the your rock. I need to make a background a little bit darker. Take a look at lamp shade. I make this shape. Then to make a background even more darker. Light. Maybe here on the top we have accent light. It makes a shape, it looks shape. It makes silly even more dark. Okay, then typical the light. Today I would say a little bit of a warm temperature. I'm going to use a Still use yellow pencil. Yellow pencil. Make an atmosphere around this one, maybe warm to warm color. Just leave it. Then I use a white pencil. Okay. So around that. Okay, so this one represent So shade. I can use the white color. Use white color. Okay. And also, so that right now, okay. And also pillow, I wanna I wanna use the white color. On the top typical, okay. Color on the top. Okay, white color on the top. <coughs> and also, even with the treatment, you can give it any color you want it. Okay, this time I just want a neutral color. I use number five. Uh, window treatment. Also table highlight here, table top the edge. I can give a little highlight. Okay, image the highlight. Okay. Use gray paper behind. So you can like this paper behind, you read the Read the white color is better. Okay, you get a middle tone of value. Okay, so typical scan. I'm going to scan one without gray background, just like that. Or I scan use a gray background. I take a look at which one is better. I save two.